a long motorcade be escorted with rolling closures through Manhattan as he is arraigned facing criminal charges. The crowd out here is numbering in the hundreds, but that's mostly New York tourists who are watching this massive spectacle unfold. We've seen a few pro-Trump supporters with their trucks and their MAGA flags circling the building, as well as anti-Trump demonstrators holding up signs with images of Donald Trump in pinstripes with the phrase, lock him up, again alluding back to the contentious 2016 campaign. Uh, we do expect this to unfold at any moment, and it, is, it will be a remarkable and historic moment for us all to witness in what is still the country's biz, big, biggest and busiest city um, operating as usual. All right, Errol Warren out there on the scene. We'll come back to you as soon as there, there is movement. want to bring in John Dickerson. And as we watch this spectacle that is going to culminate in a legal arrest and arraignment, America's going to watch this but come away with different views. They are. And, you know, you've used the geography of the day to make a really important point. We're finally going to get some facts today. And that's, those facts will come from the legal system, which is a structure and a set of rules. Today is the intersection of the circus, what we're watching, Donald Trump's criticism of the judge, the intersection of the circus with the legal system. And the legal system is less certain. What is going to happen is the district could can pick legal battle. And what they're really picking other on January 6th. In fact, Nora, there was breaking news today. Some of Trump's top aides in the White House days, like Mark Meadows, his former chief of staff. That, that courthouse where he will be told that that camera is. I, if it delays anything, it would be. So...